Rishabh Jain, an 8th grade student at Stoller Middle School in Portland, Oregon, wins America's Top Young Scientist Award for inventing a device that facilitates the diagnosis and treatment of pancreatic cancer. Watch on to find out more. Greeting smart viewers, I am Jana Yogesh, the truth-loving Indian people send you wholehearted support for your noble dedication to divine values. Young inventors are making a significant contribution to bettering our world. Rishabh Jain is the creator of the Pancreatic Cancer Deep Learning System tool, while Shaoshi Bakarin, a Syrian-Armenian refugee undergraduate student in Canada, invented the Ventus, a charging and cooling system that is used in the aircraft. In this first episode, of our two-part series, we explore the creative talents of 13-year-old Rishabh. Shining World Invention Award Laureate and the winner of the 2018 Discovery Education 3M Young Scientist Challenge. Pancreatic cancer is the seventh leading global cause of deaths linked to cancer and the third primary cause of cancer-related deaths in the USA. According to the American Cancer Society, pancreatic cancer accounts for about 3% of all cancers and about 7% of all cancer deaths in the United States. Rishab, an 8th grade student at Stoller Middle School in Portland, Oregon, USA, and a vegetarian combined his artificial intelligence programming skills with his keen interest to improve the success rate of healing pancreatic cancer to invent the Pancreatic Cancer Deep Learning System tool. The tool substantially boosts the success rate of accurately detecting the pancreas's location during magnetic resonance imaging guided radiotherapy. Statistics reveal that for all stages of pancreatic cancer combined, 5-year survival rate is 7%, 10-year survival rate is 1%. The stomach or other nearby organs and the breathing movement of the lungs cause the pancreas to move around in the abdominal area, thus hindering easy detection of the pancreas. This poses a serious challenge in the early diagnosis of the illness. More often, pancreatic cancer is diagnosed and treated in a later and more severe stage, making therapy for the condition much less effective. This accounts for the low success rate of pancreatic cancer diagnosis and treatment. Furthermore, the current method of radiotherapy application can be inaccurate and thus may be detrimental to healthy cells, as Rishabh Jain now explains. So currently pancreatic cancer is detected in a late stage and by then doctors try to use radiotherapy to help treat it, but most of the time um, it, it's not effective enough. So I got inspired to do some research on this. Doctors use MRI-guided radiotherapy to help treat this disease. However, due to interpatient variability where the structures of people's bodies are different and anatomical changes like breathing, the pancreas can often move out of sight, causing radiation to have negative effects on the body. Rishabh's Pancreatic Cancer Deep Learning System tool helps doctors detect the pancreas more accurately with a 98.9% .9 success rate. I use various statistical techniques such as the confusion matrix, ROC curve, and box and whisker plot to ensure my innovation gives highly accurate results. 
Currently, uh, doctors can uh, have to apply sometimes a seven millimeter overlay around the pancreas um, of radiation, and this can affect millions of healthy cells. So my tool is able to re reduce that area to around four millimeters. So that saves millions of healthy cells and can improve patient quality of care. We shall be right back with more about Rishabh Jain's benevolent invention. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. Welcome back to Young Inventors in the Golden Era, part one of two. We will now further explore the features of Rishabh Jain's tool that could save the lives of many pancreatic cancer patients. And as you can see, throughout its transforming, it's very hard for the human eye to detect where the pancreas is. And this is especially a problem in real time when radiologists and oncologists have to find the pancreas and apply radiation treatment. So over here on the left side, uh, my tool can be run to find where exactly the pancreas is in one of these uh, CT or MRI slices and output this result instantaneously. With PCDLS, radiation dosages for patients can be decreased and with accurate treatments, many lives can be saved. I'm really excited with the results that I've gotten with PCDLS and I hope to find a cure for this cancer one day. Rishabh's tool works with hospitals' existing radiotherapy equipment and may be incorporated directly into new machines. He is currently in communication with hospitals based in his home state of Oregon and also with well-established national hospitals in the United States, such as the Johns Hopkins Hospital and Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center about future uses of his innovation. How did Rishabh become interested in helping better cancer care? Learning of the loss of a family friend to pancreatic cancer, knowing that famed founder of the technology company Apple, Steve Jobs, lost his life to the condition in 2011, made Rishabh determined to help treat this disease that currently has a low survival rate following diagnosis. Rishabh's invention of the pancreatic cancer deep learning system led him to win the 2018 Discovery Education 3M Young Scientist Challenge. Of his creation, the promising scientist shared on the American Bazaar, I have been very interested in STEM areas and started learning, doing research, and experimenting with applications of artificial intelligence in the medicine area. This led me to my invention of my pancreatic cancer deep learning system tool. Being a part of the Young Scientist Challenge means that if one is selected as one of the 10 finalists, a scientist from the 3M company will mentor them. Dr. Don Demergos, a 3M corporate supply chain black belt and product development and research expert, supported Rishab throughout his tools creation process. Lori McFarling, chief marketing officer of Discovery Education, a company that produces digital textbooks and provides educational services said, Discovery Education is honored to be a part of a partnership that not only encourages but provides the tools necessary for the next generation of young innovators to be successful in their pursuit of learning how to make the world a better place. The Discovery Education 3M Young Scientist Challenge inspires children to create innovative, problem-solving projects which can be applied to real-life situations. Every year around mid-October, a live competition is hosted at the 3M Innovation Center in St. Paul, Minnesota, USA for middle school students across the country. Rishabh Jain won the 2018 edition of the competition 
and was awarded the title of America's Top Young Scientist, accompanied by a cash prize of 25,000 U.S. dollars. With this prize money, Rishabh seeks to further develop his tool to assist in pancreatic cancer treatment, create a nonprofit organization called the Samyak Science Society to encourage young children to study science and technology, engineering and math, and set aside some funds for his future studies. Receiving this award really means a lot to me as it validates my work and further motivates me to continue working on my research and spread awareness about pancreatic cancer, Rishab tells US magazine Teed Vogue. His mother, Manisha Jain, a realtor who is originally from India, said, that's always something that we talk to kids about. Do something that can impact the community. And that's what Rishab is probably trying to achieve. We're very excited and proud of him. Rishab stated, So I want to continue pursuing uh, medicine and engineering as I grow up. So uh, for my undergraduate degree, I'm thinking up about becoming a biomedical engineer. And later I want to make a difference in other people's lives. May Rishabh Jain's innovative and brilliant invention enhance the effectiveness of pancreatic cancer treatment to all our world. For more information on Rishabh Jain, please visit twitter.com forward slash Rishabh Jain K. For decades, immigration has been pivotal in helping to sustain economic growth and social development in both Canada and the U.S. The hunger mentality is the term used to describe the motivation prompting immigrants to work hard for survival, which in turn benefits their adopted countries. Shaoshi Bakarian and her family certainly had this drive to succeed when they came from Syria as displaced persons facing an uncertain future with hopes of making a new start in Canada. How did they come to the West? A turning point came when Shaoshi's mother needed surgery that had to be performed in Lebanon. Her mother's medical issue, combined with conflict in their hometown of Aleppo, forced the family to make a move. They spent a year in Lebanon while her mother recovered. Shaoshi's parents then concluded that the family would have broader educational and work opportunities elsewhere. That's when Canada opened its doors to the Syrian refugees and the family arrived in this noble nation in December 2015. During their first winter in Canada, Shaoshi's family members enrolled in school to study French. All four children set out to find jobs to support the family while their parents found work in the garment industry. Shaoshi worked 30 hours a week while studying at Concordia University in Montreal. Shaoshi is grateful for the sacrifices her parents made, but she made some as well. Being almost overwhelmed by working so many hours while pursuing a degree, Looking back on those days, Shaoshi says, I was physically, emotionally, and mentally exhausted, but now I'm making up for it. My family is okay now, and it's easier. We'll be right back with more details about Shaoshi Bakarian's amazing journey. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. Welcome back to Young Inventors in the Golden Era, part two of two, as we'll now learn about Shelshi's remarkable invention that can cool the cabin air of many models of Cessna airplanes while providing a power source for charging handheld devices. Shelshi's 
Chow. She is currently enrolled as a third year student at Montreal's Concordia University and majoring in aerospace engineering. She has learned French in addition to English, Arabic, and Armenian to help pursue her career in aerospace engineering. Xiaoxi is working hard at two part-time jobs. One with a transportation company, Bombardier Aerospace, and another with the flight school, Stratos Aviation. While working as an instructor on Stratos Aviation's flight simulators, Xiaoxi came up with an idea to improve the cooling of Cessna airplane cabins, namely Ventus, a small device that uses a Venturi tube to lower incoming air pressure for a cooling effect while generating electricity with wind turbines. Being Xiaoxi Bakarin's brainchild, the device was designed and engineered at the Stratos Aerospace Lab in early 2018 and the developers expect to begin production in October 2019. Ventus is a product of pure science and precise angulation that uses the perfectly crafted Venturi tube. It works on the principle that when air passes through the tube, the atmospheric pressure within the chamber is modified, going from a zone of higher to lower pressure and thus reducing the air temperature inside the aircraft by three to five degrees Celsius. This effect varies depending on the speed of the aircraft and the outside air temperature. Ventus is specifically designed for use in the Cessna 150, 152, 172, 180, 182 classes of airplanes. The Ventus USB charger come cooler, which is made of polycarbonate polymer, requires no modification to an aircraft and owners can simply replace the current venting tube with a Ventus. The unit's microgenerator produces about 5 volts, 2.0 amps of renewable energy, which can charge electronic gadgets such as GPS devices, navigational aids, smartphones, and tablets. The minimum required wind speeds to operate Ventus in the air and on the ground are 144 kilometers per hour and 24 kilometers per hour respectively. However, the cooling aspect of the device can only be used in flight due to higher wind speeds. All products created and brought to life through the Stratos Aerospace Lab are marketed via the Stratos Aviation Social Entrepreneurial Initiative. Moreover, the resulting profits are redistributed as education grants to students pursuing science, technology, engineering and math, or STEM-related degrees in aviation and aerospace in Canada and the U.S. Students directly involved in the development and creation of a market-worthy product are awarded full education grants. In reference to the Stratos Aerospace Lab, Mr. Naor Cohen, founder and pilot of Stratos Aviation says, Stratos Aerospace Lab will have two phases here. It will be the youth program where we'll have an ongoing program every Sunday and weekday evening where they'll be able to come and build drones, planes, and all kinds of different aerospace objects like rockets. And the other facet is the special entrepreneurship program where people with bigger projects will be able to build a lab to actually create a product and bring it to the market. From her perspective, Xiaoxi shares what Stratos Aerospace Lab can bring to inspired innovators. The benefit of Stratos Aerospace Lab will be extra accessibility to engineering tools, to machinery, to three dimensions, 
to software, to design, and to create new engineering inventions. A place where people could discuss, could learn about sustainable aircraft, sustainable spacecraft, about green power, and aerospace in general. Regarding his vision about the future development of the lab, Mr. Cohen says, Seeing and measuring the cooling capability of the Ventus, we've already developed the household version that could cool out the room by up to 5 degrees. By supporting Ventus, you're supporting both the initiative from our student engineers to develop the program, but at the same time, that would allow us to build the lab with better equipment and enable students to build better and more advanced equipment and technology for aerospace and aviation. Our deep appreciation goes to Stratos Aerospace for supporting creative inventors like Shaoshi Bakarian. May your spirit of innovation continue to blossom in the days ahead for the purpose of better serving the aviation industry. We also celebrate the achievements of Ms. Bakarian, who through her can-do attitude and drive to succeed, has shown our world the potential all refugees possess to brighten the nations that compassionately take them in. Supreme Master Ching Hai joyfully present Shining World Invention Award to Ms. Shushi Bakarian with 13,000 US dollars to help further her study and invention. With praise, best wishes and love in God's grace. May you and your Canada thrive ever upward. Supreme Master Ching Hai is deeply grateful to the beloved God for all the financial help, comfort, and support to the afflicted and needy, and or any good cause over the years, as a humble vessel for His compassion and love toward His precious children. Special viewers, thank you for your valued presence during Young Inventors in the Golden Era, Part 2 of 2. Coming up next is a glimpse into Tim Kotu's new spiritual domain, Part 3 of 4, on Between Master and Disciples, right after Noteworthy News. May you be blessed with many more wonderful miracles in your life. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash GAT. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com bar oblique schedule et suprememastertv.com bar oblique GAT. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com bar inclinada schedule y suprememastertv.com bar inclinada GAT. Nossos programas oferecem vários idiomas. Acesse suprememastertv.com barra schedule e suprememastertv.com barra GAT. Hamari karyakram pesh kiye jate hain kai bhashaon mein. Kripya dekhe suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule or suprememastertv.com forward slash GAT. Our program offers many different languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com slash schedule and suprememastertv.com slash GAT. Rancangan kami menawarkan banyak bahasa. Sila kunjungi suprememastertv.com slash keharapan schedule dan suprememastertv.com slash keharapan GAT. Para mijuna mutawafira bil adiri minal lugat, yurja ziyarat suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule o suprememastertv.com forward slash GAT. Nasi program ini berlagai temunoga yazik, pajasta, pasmatriti suprememastertv.com kasa jirta schedule i suprememastertv.com kasa jirta GAT. Acara kami menyediakan banyak bahasa. Silakan lihat suprememastertv.com garis miring schedule dan suprememastertv.com garis miring G A T.